how do we learn? How did people learn from direct experience? Do you know what I mean? Like most of what we've learned is third hand or fourth hand. It's just a game of telephone. He said, she said, he said, she said, and then eventually someone says it to us and we hear it. But for the most part, everything we learn in school is a person just standing up there talking and all of that is very much mental. It's like thoughts. It's like symbols. It's like forms or representations of what it must have actually been like. So I imagine maybe, I don't know, in a simpler time when direct observation was kind of the way of learning and understanding and in any kind of field. I'm just thinking of maybe science, biology, for example. You know, you have some botanist who's examining a leaf up close and maybe maybe it's even before they had microscopes. Maybe they just have, I don't know, a magnifying glass. And they're just examining the geometry of that leaf up close. And then they're somehow learning. They're somehow connecting the shapes and the patterns and the dots in their mind are connecting the neurons in their mind and are making sense of just the bare bones, like visual information or something, or what's within that or what's underneath that, that is somehow able to inform a real embodied sense of what it is that I'm seeing. So that direct knowledge of how the world around us worked and, um, Maybe it's, maybe everyone already discovered most of what there was to see and wrote it down in books and then they just condensed that knowledge and then they explained it to us in school. And if something was particularly interesting to us, we might be able to go to college and study that some more. Um, and yet it seems like it's all so abstract to me and it's all like numbers and theories and equations and so on and so forth. Like, Maybe my experience was different. Maybe I just was closed off to learning in school, but like even with something as visual as geometry, which if you've ever been to high school, you had to take geometry, I think. And that's something where you would, you would think that it's like so real and so tangible because when you're drawing lines and shapes, there's kind of only one way it can be. Um, and there's something you can really understand or derive from that. But I think there's a difference between like discovering that for yourself. Um, like maybe you're a kid and you're playing with those little, you're playing with sticks or something, you're putting them together and it's making sense versus sitting in the classroom and having them try to put this information into your brain. Somehow it's a very different experience than direct learning, right? So as I'm sitting in this room and you can look around where you are and, and say, first of all, do I even know what's in my room? Um, what's it, what is it, what is this? You know, you could think about it as like all the different objects in the room. And I feel like I'm in a uh, minimalist lifestyle, but I still, <laughs> I could still probably count hundreds of objects just in this one room. It's a lot of objects, it's like probably 500 maybe not 500, but like 200 maybe. It's a lot. Um, so like looking in the room where you are, it's like, what actually is in there? Do you even know most of what's in there? Do you ever think about what's in there? Maybe you do. Maybe you're really aware of all the objects in your room and they all have a purpose and a use. Um, maybe it's full of stuff and you have no idea what's going on. But it, so that's just identifying the thing, right? But like, I'm kind of getting a little bit ahead of myself right now. Um, even just taking one object and looking at it. I have a towel here on the ground, this towel, and just even within this towel, there's, you know, oh gosh, 
tens of hundreds of thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands of individual strands of cotton fiber that's all woven into this cloth. So there's a lot that, I think there's a lot that you could learn even just from this plain white towel in terms of what is it made out of? Where does that come from? How is it put together? Why does it have the properties that it has? Why is it so strong? Why can you rip and toss and turn and wash and dry and this thing will stay like this forever? Why? Um, how do they figure that out? That kind of learning, like someone must have sat there with a little piece of string and they're twisting it and twisting it and then they're tying it around to get, you know, that kind of hands-on experiential, um, like that's like baked into your system kind of learning. And we don't think about that. I think we just go to the store, we buy a towel and we dry ourselves with it because that's what it does. End of story, right? And... Maybe we go through life and we're not actually aware of anything. Maybe we're not aware of anything at all. Maybe we don't know what any of the things are around us. We have no idea who made them, how they got made. Um, we don't know what they mean. Because <laughs> it seems like we're so, so stressed and so busy. And we're just being shuttled from this direction to that direction to this direction. Um, in a way that's kind of divorced from the actual material physical world. It's more just ideas and it's more just energy. Go to this place, take this train, take this bus, drive down this highway, make this call, do the Zoom, do the this, do the, like all the text, 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 email, email, email. It's so much just mental activity. Text, 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 email, email, email. It's just words, 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 energy, 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 emotions, 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 words, words, words. You know, that is all that. But then what the crap is a phone? What is a Wi-Fi? What, what, <laughs> where? Well, maybe we, we just don't need to know any of it. We don't need to know. <laughs> as long as it works, don't question it, right? But I just feel like it's one thing to learn to be taught how to do something, maybe to do a skill or learning uh, communication skills, um, learning how to speak to an audience, learning how to make a good cup of coffee, you know, those kinds of experiential learning that you can practice and master and feel accomplished at learning how to do computer programming or learning how to sew or whatever it might be. And then there's the sort of observational learning is what I'm talking about, I guess. Not how to do something, but what is it? Um, seems like a really powerful place to explore. And I had started off this video by, and maybe that's something, maybe again, maybe that experience of what is it and learning is something that most people go through. I have no idea what other people's experiences are like. I'm sure there's a wide range of folks who have degrees of intelligence and learning that I'm just not aware of, you know. So for me, it's just not something that I engage with very often. And there's something a little bit sad or a little bit disappointing or um, like, hmm, that's not quite right. At this point, I feel like I'm putting too much pressure on myself at too late of an hour to be sitting here talking. So this video is over.